Hello everyone, welcome back. So with the recent release of Rockstar's latest first person mode trailer, a lot of you guys may have a lot of questions about the first person mode in general. So I thought I'd go ahead and kind of cover all of the details that we know so far about the first person mode. And as always guys, if you haven't actually seen the first person mode trailer, uh, make sure you do so. I will leave a link to that as well down in the description down below. So hopefully if you do have any questions about the first person mode, and this video will kind of answer those questions as Rockstar did actually release a brand new news while kind of discussing it. And uh, once again guys, I hope you do go on to enjoy today's video. So uh, with all that being said, let's jump straight into this. So the reading directly from the news white itself, uh, they did actually mention the first person mode and it states, this new mode gives players the chance to explore the world of Los Santos and Blaine County directly through the eyes of their character, revealing all of the world's glorious details in an entirely new way. Now at the very bottom of this news wire, they do kind of answer a few questions with the information they do give. Uh, but before I get into that, I'm going to go ahead and read a quote from the news wire uh, directly from IGN, I believe. And it states, there's so much new about this version of Grand Theft Auto V but it's obvious Rockstar was keen to deliver something above and beyond a technical upgrade. It's given players an entirely new way of playing the game from shooters to action games we're all used to adopting the first person way. But the way in which this new perspective transforms the GTA experience cannot be understated. It fundamentally alters how you inhabit and interact with this world and it rewrites the experience which is absolutely awesome. Now kind of moving into the questions or the details, it states available in both GTA V and GTA Online which is a question I got asked in my previous video, you know, is this going to be GTA Online as well and that kind of answers that question I guess you could say. We have made a host of changes to accommodate this new perspective, including the creation of an optional first person cover system, a new targeting system, a more traditional first person control scheme, and integrating thousands of new animations into the existing game. It's also available at the touch of a button so you can easily switch back and forth between perspectives. So that is pretty much another question that kind of answered, uh, you know, how do we enter this mode? You can pretty much enter it and de-enter it, I guess you could say, at the touch of a button. So, uh, you know, it's not in the menu, similar to the, I think it's the way you change your targeting mode. Um, a lot of people were thinking it's going to be kind of like that where you would go into the options and change it that way. Nope, they have announced that it is literally going to be at the touch of a button. So I'm presuming pushing the analogs or something like that and maybe the specific button. So some more information which I managed to gather from the CVG YouTube channel. They actually managed to get a hands-on preview of the game itself. They did say that the cutscenes from single player will also be in first person view as well. So that's first person cutscenes. Some more kind of awesome information about the first person mode in general. So uh, what we've gathered so far is thousands of new animation for the first person mode of course with the reloading and stuff like that there's going to be loads of different animations probably from taking selfies with phones and just a bunch of different things uh, for the first person mode in terms of animations of course a new targeting system a first person cover system as well as the option to quickly change back and forth uh, between the first person mode and third person mode and of course the last one which is it's available in both GTA V and GTA Online as well so hopefully this video has kind of cleared up a few things about the first person mode or at least answered some of your guys' questions and now uh, this is all the details we have so so far on it and of course the background gameplay is of course the first person mode from the gameplay trailer itself so you know I'm really stoked for this this is crazy it's definitely going to bring something new to GTA and I literally cannot wait for the next gen version so uh, let me know your thoughts on this down in the comment section down below are you looking forward to getting this game now and uh, what do you think of the first person mode in general let me know in the comments down below but with that being said guys I will see you all tomorrow with either two or three brand new videos